First, there are those who ask, does aid really work? They see all the marches, they see the concerts, they see the international summits. They hear about the money being spent. In some cases, they even donate themselves. But then they wonder, has any of this really done any good? Well, I say to them, yes, it has. Look at what we've achieved together. Look at the progress that economic growth and smart aid have brought about. We've seen the fastest reduction in poverty in human history. My responsibility is to my own people and to my own constituents. And uh, I don't really fill my mind much with what one set of foreigners is doing to another. One has to say, what is it that's so dreadfully special about East Timor to the people here? These are hawk ground attack aircraft made by British Aerospace in one of the fastest selling British weapons in the world. In 1978, at the height of the genocide, David Owen, Foreign Secretary in the Labour government, agreed to sell the hawk to Indonesia. From then on, the British establishment played cook to the Sahaba regime, while selling it more hawk aircraft, more missiles, helicopters, frigates, armoured vehicles, mine disposal equipment, military communications and a fully equipped institute of technology for the Indonesian army, Margaret Thatcher received an award for the promotion of technology. She told her Indonesian audience, I am proud to be one of you. In 1991, the government of John Major urged its European partners to cut aid to regimes that violated human rights. In the same year, Major shook hands with Indonesian weapons chief B.J. Habibi. Later, the government announced a billion-pound deal for more Hawk aircraft, despite the devastation it was causing. And there is no doubt in my mind that there is nothing that a Hawk aircraft can do to suppress the people in East Timor. It is not an aircraft that is suitable for that purpose, and we have guarantees from the Indonesians that they would not be used for internal suppression. Alan Clark, you, you were Minister of Defence when the sale of Hawk aircraft were being negotiated and finalised with Indonesia, and your colleagues have talked about getting guarantees from the Indonesians that the Hawks would not be used for oppressive purposes against civilians and, in fact, in East Timor. I mean, what, what exactly are these guarantees? I mean, that's really what I'm trying well, to I work out. Well, I never asked for guarantees of that kind. That must have been something that the Foreign Office did um, before the IDC or whatever it was, that, that, mm. uh, whatever committee it is that considers. Uh, so guarantees possible or not? I mean, uh, would, you, would you say getting guarantees from a government like the Indonesian government? Uh, oh, a guarantee, is, a guarantee is worthless from any government, as far as I'm concerned. I, mean, I wouldn't even bother with it, but it's, mm. you may want it, uh, it may look um, good in the formula, you know. That's a foreign office matter, not an MAD matter. Mm. We'd never ask someone for guarantees. Mm. But it wasn't just a foreign office matter, it was the Ministry of Defence that also accepted the guarantees. That is a training aeroplane. The ability of the aircraft to carry weapons has been improved. Uh, the weight of uh, weapons that can be carried has been increased and the, as you see the wide range of weapons that it can carry uh, is quite impressive. But the government have said that the version of the planes the Indonesians are buying is just a trainer and won't be used against the Timorese. Well, it's, it's a question we look at uh, very carefully, but I promise you uh, we put under the most uh, searching uh, analysis the use to which uh, equipments that we sell will be put and we are quite confident that the Indonesians will will use our, our Hawks for jet training for advanced jet training which is why they were acquired in the first place I mean as far as the Hawks were concerned uh, there was a great deal of talk from all the ministries in British aerospace that they were merely trainers 
I mean, that, that, a lot has been made of that, hasn't it? No, they weren't telling the truth. <laughs> well, that's just a label you put on it. And they are trainers. But you said merely trainers. They're, they're, the Hawks are training aircraft. Um, but it's actually ex an exceptionally effective aircraft and can be used in a whole variety of different roles. Well, it can be easily it, converted it, too, uh, as the Indonesian's Mr Habibi, yeah. a man you know, uh, yeah. he said that, uh, oh yes, it's a training aircraft uh, with his tongue in his cheek, but we can easily convert it, in effect. Sure, it can, it can be converted anyway. The, the Hawk is, is dual use with a capital D. In fact, part of the deal with Indonesia is conversion training to a light attack aircraft and Indonesia's weapons chief Habibi has made it clear the Hawk, he said, will be used not only to train pilots, but for ground attack. The first time I saw two uh, jet fighters, I was surprised. I realized that they were Hawk because we only saw Bronco. You know, they flew over us. Ten A government minister, Baroness Chorka, told Parliament that British aid was helping the poor of Indonesia. In fact, half of all aid to Indonesia is linked to trade, and much of that is tied to weapons. This is a list of British companies selling weapons or war-related equipment to the Indonesian dictatorship. In April 1993, shortly before the sale of Hawk aircraft was announced, the Foreign Secretary, Douglas Hurd, flew to Jakarta and gave Suharto £65 million in so-called soft loans. Hurd assured the regime that Western values on human rights could not be exported to Indonesia. There were cultural and economic differences, he said, and referred to Indonesia's recognition of basic freedom. Uh, on the question of uh, human rights, for instance, although we have a different views, but I think among the easy countries, uh, United Kingdom is one of the most uh, uh, ready to understand our position and, and to express uh, uh, support uh, when it is possible. Did it ever bother you personally that this British equipment was causing such mayhem and human suffering? No, not at all. Never entered my head. I mean, I, you tell me that this was happening, I, I didn't uh, hear about it well, or know about it. Well, even if I hadn't told you it was happening, the fact that we supply highly effective equipment to a regime like that then is not a consideration as far as you're concerned. Well, it's not right. a personal consideration. No, not at all. I asked the question because you, I, I read that you were a, a, a vegetarian mm. uh, and you quite seriously and uh, concerned about the way animals are killed. Yeah. Doesn't that concern uh, extend to the way humans, albeit foreigners, are killed? Curiously not, no. Let's be clear. The whole concept I'm very the world who are being educated as a result of, of uh, what the British government, the British taxpayer is doing in terms of its international aid.